lovely Zumi Chan here with another video. Um, today was supposed to be a scroller box unboxing video, however, um, for some reason, my everything for traditional is glitching out. I went to go transfer it on my computer and it's telling me after I cut it that the files aren't there anymore. Like, cut it to transfer it over to my computer my other hard drive it's telling me the files aren't there anymore no matter what I do so I actually don't have a video for today anymore um, so what I'm gonna do is I guess I'm just gonna walk through what I received in the June box um, as you guys know my June box was a little off I didn't receive it for June as I was supposed to, so they sent me a new one and I received it. I had recorded all of it, me using the materials, everything, and obviously that's not going to be happening in this video. So I'm visibly upset because. I spent a whole day working on this video for you guys and it's not working and I don't know what to do, so. I think it's time for me to get whole new recording stuff for traditional art for YouTube and honestly, I don't have, I don't have the current funds to do that, so I am gonna be, um, I guess moving on to doing digital stuff from now on until I can afford to replace all of it. Um, so obviously for scrawler box as per usual, uh, I received uh, the fe feature artist piece, which was Alice Coles, aka Hulu Alice, um, and it says, hi, I'm Alice, I'm a watercolor and mixed media artist living in beautiful Colorado. I make YouTube videos focused on educational and motivating content for aspiring and intermediate artists. In my spare time, I love to travel, read, and spend time with my border collie, December. Um, then it gives the um, links to her social media which I will leave down below because this is an absolutely gorgeous piece and I love to so show support to other artists. The other thing we received is obviously the little candy that comes along with it. I'm not entirely sure what it is but it kind of reminds me of a starburst so I'm excited to try it. Um, we also got some watercolor papers, which I'm always in dire need of. Uh, we got a nice little stack here. And we also got this beautiful uh, sea white br uh, watercolor brush in size number six. Obviously, it's dirty because I've already used it because I had a pre-recorded video for this. And I'm having to record another one. Um, then we also have the Prismalo Karen Dash uh, pencil, which is a water soluble pencil. You can fade it with water and do shading with it and all that jazz. Um, and we also got a jelly roll, a Secura je jelly roll in number eight, which you guys know that I already use a lot of this, so you guys know that I absolutely love this. To go back to the uh, pencil and the brush, they were both absolutely amazing products and I will definitely use these again. And least but not last, um, what did they call this? Sorry, I was not prepared to do one of these. Multi-use blocks, I guess, is what they were called. Um, they're watercolor blocks that you can use either by putting it directly onto the paper itself and adding water or by adding water on the block and then on the paper. Uh, once they're dry, 
you can go over it with another color and do some more things without lifting the previous color, which is really nice. I absolutely love these and I love the colors of them. Um, they were amazing to work with and they actually stained the brush and I can't seem to get it off my brush. So, but they're really nice and I think these would be really nice as a undercoating for some paintings if you do like shell cell shading um, because they won't lift. You can mix the colors but you gotta work fast with it but overall they were really really amazing. So as per usual the first thing I had done was test all my colors, test the material and see what I was working with and also worked on some sketches to see what I was gonna do. Here you can see me testing mixing colors. Um, it applied really nicely. It wasn't splashy, which was really nice, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and this here is what the final one came out to. Um, the theme, and if you guys didn't know, Scrawler Box has a challenge theme for every month. The theme for this was Spirit Animal. And honestly, I could not go without my cats, and that's why I picked a cat here. Um, and I'm really happy with the way it came out. So yeah, um, this was going to be a 20 minute video, but now I'm reduced to giving you guys a six minute video for this. And I really apologize. Um, down below you can find all my links. I guess at this point, any commission would be greatly appreciated. Um, I would just probably put it towards funds to replacing my Bias, which I didn't plan on doing for any time soon because everything was working fine. My camera, I've had it since the beginning of high school, so that was, what, is, what are we now, 2020? Beginning of high school was 2010, so it's been 10 years that I've had that camera and it's been through heck. Um, even at one point it had stopped working and then all of a sudden it started working again, so I thought I was okay for a couple of more years but obviously I'm not so I'm gonna have to go start doing some research on new cameras and all that jazz so yeah uh, thanks to you for joining in this video and I'll see you guys in the next one ciao hello you are listening to a pre-recorded outro I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button, as well as the bell to be notified, and I'll see you all in the next video. Yumi-chan, over and out.